Hi friends, it's time for our shared reading. Now remember with our shared reading, you can listen to me read. You and I can read together, which would be awesome, especially for this one, you'll find out. Or you can turn the volume down and read on your own. Now our story today has a lot of repetitive text. Do you remember what that means? It means that what is said, what the author writes, repeats itself. So once you kind of get through that first page, you're golden, okay? Now, this story is another one of my favorites. It's called Greedy Cat, okay? A couple things. Do you know what the word greedy means? Okay, if you don't, imagine your most favorite food, okay? So let's say chocolate chip cookies, all right? And you got a whole plate of those chocolate chip cookies. Now, it would be nice if you shared, right, with others, because you have a whole plate, but you would be greedy if you kept them all to yourself. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so in this story, whenever mom goes shopping, greedy cat comes in and gobbles, gobble, 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 gobbles all of the food before anyone gets to it. Now, mom gets a little upset and you'll notice in her face, she is not happy, not at all. So read to see how mom shows Greedy Cat a lesson. Greedy Cat. Mom went shopping and got some sausages. Along came Greedy Cat. He looked in the shopping bag. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And that was the end of that. Okay, that's the repeated part, you'll see. Along came Greedy Cat. He looked in the shopping bag. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And that was the end of that. Mom went shopping and got some sticky buns. Along came Greedy Cat. He looked in the shopping bag. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And that was the end of that. Mom went shopping and got some potato chips. Along came Greedy Cat. He looked in the shopping bag. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And that was the end of that. Mom went shopping and got some bananas. Along came Greedy Cat. He looked in the shopping bag. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And that was the end of that. Mom went shopping and got some chocolate. Along came Greedy Cat. He looked in the shopping bag. Gobble, gobble, gobble. And that was the end of that. Mom went shopping and got a pot of pepper. Along came Greedy Cat. He looked in the shopping bag. Gobble, gobble, yo! And that was the end of that. Okay, friends, how did mom show Greedy Cat that he should not be gobbling up all of the food? Could you imagine just putting a mouthful of pepper in your mouth? Ha! It would be disgusting. Now your job is to do some writing. I want you to think of ways that you would show Greedy Cat a lesson, okay? How would you let Greedy Cat know that him gobbling up the food is not a good idea? I cannot wait to hear your suggestions.